Welcome back to Brief Trip Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a weatherboard to your drawing. So currently, this is how a 3D elevation looks like. So we want to draw a weatherboard on this part of this front part of our roof. So I'm going to show you how we are going to do that, accomplish that, just a little bit. So that is our drawing how it looks like. So let's go back to the ground floor plan. Then we are going to draw a line. So you wanted the weatherboard from the front part, so this is where I want my weatherboard to be. So I'm going to draw a straight line right there, like that. Then select the roof, then right click, then select split into single plane roofs. Just press OK. Then select your roof once again. At this stage, your roof is now in grouped, so you want to ungroup it. You can ungroup this by pressing Ctrl Shift plus G, or alternatively, let me just undo that. So, alternatively, what you can go for just highlight your roof, then come to Edit, then Grouping select and group but I prefer the method I showed you, I showed you first that is control shift plus G that is very fast so once you've done that you're going to highlight the roof each plane for this just click on any point you are adding a node this tool here insert new node so you're going to insert it at the point where you do your line then just for this this other side make sure the degree is at 90 like that then select the other plane then we're going to insert a node new node then the line then select that node then take it to this point here where they intersect then you're going to select this other root plane yeah, that plane then you're going to insert a node then take it here then on this other side you're going to insert another node then take it to the point you drew your line then at the apex take that node to this center here so you can now delete your line then go to your 3d elevation and see how your roof look like, looks like so we have actually inserted place the weatherboard now we have to draw a fascia for it so how are we going to do that i'm going to show you in a bit so just go to the elevation the ground floor let's see which elevation is that that is elevation number one so that is the one you are dropping So we are going to use the line tool to draw the shape we want for fascia for that. So we are going to start at that point. We have 200. Like that. Then draw it perpendicular, parallel, sorry, to the roof my roof was the pitch for my roof was 30 degrees so i have to make sure that this one is also 30 degrees so i'll mind that like that and this one also here at 30 degrees that is 150 then i'm just going to draw a line somewhere here another 200 millimeters Then 
to our mother line this other side 200 millimeters again then you're actually going to drag the line say from this point to this other side say 450 so control D then you drag it I'm going to drag it say not 450 say something like 600 like that so what you've done here is the same thing that we're going to do this other side so drag this other one to the left 600 millimeters like that then using line tool again join this to this that point that that point like that then we can trim this part just to hold down the control key For this I think I dragged a copy, I shouldn't have dragged a copy so I can just delete that then I can also trim that. So for at this point now we want to draw the fascia we want for our roof, we drawn the shape so we are going to use the morph tool. So using morph tool we are going to draw the shape so that is the one we want to. So we are going to draw just trace this shape like that like that there so we can go now go to our 3d elevation we have the morph tool place there like that so select the morph then select this tubing operation here tube sorry I'm going to select this tube so I want to elongate it thicken it somehow so I'm going to go for 25 millimeters like that mm -hmm. then let me change the color for the morph I want it to be white paint I want it to be white so titanium white that one there like that then what we are going to do now go back to another elevation say an elevation where we can see the morph we've just placed let me just delete this let me elongate this a bit yeah so this is the morph you've placed so we're going to drag it and just place it there like that going to place it there like that then go to 3d look at what you have it has actually moved a little bit to the side so go back to the first elevation I want to place it here so I'm going to move it right here like this So we have our morph placed. Let's check it in 3D. Let me just override some details here. So for the floor plan, change the color. Change everything. Then just press OK. Then that is our weatherboard placed. Now let me just select the roof. I want to regroup them. So 
roof select the roof tool then press ctrl a to highlight all the roof planes then just press ctrl g to group them all together now what we're going to do we want to place some covering right here so we are going to use object tool so let's go back to the ground floor then press ctrl t we're going to look search for louvers 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 searching so let me see what we're going to have one this one half round go to one want it to be a little bit bigger than to project at say 4500 millimeters then change the orientation let me go to settings dimensions preview preview yeah the size is actually a little bit bigger this is where I wanted to project 4500 so millimeters then it's diameter to be something like 3500 sorry like that change its orientation like that then we are actually going to place it somewhere here that is a little bit small so we are going to change the dimension <coughs> say 4000 then go back to 3d that is too high so we are going to change the elevation point say to 4000 say something like 3800 let me see still a little bit too high change the elevation to just 3000 that so we have a louver placed like that so we are going to select the louver and then select the roof then trim element then we are going to trim it like that and you shall have your weatherboard placed like that you can actually go ahead and override the settings and then you love the drain. So make sure you follow for more.